What is good, y'all? It's Mikey T, the movie star. I'm back with another exclusive. Yeah, that's right. Today I'm actually in some new apparel. I'm in that Tough Love apparel. I got their card right here. Anybody that wants to check it out, these guys are dope. I appreciate you for, you know, just sending the package out immediately. I salute you guys. Um, everybody can follow them on Instagram. It's a Labib. I'm going to put it up right here. L A B. E E B underscore tough love. You're gonna see the the joint right there. Anybody that wants to check them out, tough love apparel. I appreciate you guys. They are endorsing this video today, and I decided to drop this exclusive on y'all early because everybody has been talking about AR Ab's sentencing. Everybody wants to know when will Ab be sentencing. I've got an exclusive update on that for all of you today. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's Friday. What is it, Good Friday or something? Someone's going to be like, yo, Mikey T, you're tripping. It's Thursday. I don't care what day it is. I get up every day. I work. I work. I work. Because this is what I love to do, you guys. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, though. Um, Anybody wants to follow me on Instagram, by all means, follow me on the gram. It's Mikey T underscore the movie star. If anybody wants to do any type of business with me, I'm open to it. You can just hit me up on the DM. You could say, yo, Mikey T. I want you to give me a shout out, anything. You could suggest a story to me. You could get a video posting on the blog. Anything you want to do, guys, I'm open to working. Let's get this money. All right, so it's Mikey T underscore the movie star. As I said, it's going to be a follow for a follow. But let's get into this exclusive today because this is a dope one. This is actually going to be going in depth on AR Rab's sentencing that has been pushed back quite a few times. Ab sentencing have actually been, it's been kind of a messed up situation. Uh, at first he was supposed to get sentenced at the end of March, but that was uh, pushed back to the end of May, which I thought would be pushed back, as I said before, because of Memorial Weekend. Um, so we're tapping in right now to Ab's update on his actual sentencing, because I know everybody out there is wondering the outcome of what's going to happen with AR Rab. I appreciate everybody for praying up for Ab and sending all the well, the well messages. Ab has even responded to some of you. You know, you guys got his address actually out there as well. If anybody wants to send him a letter, you know what I mean? All that type of stuff is encouraging for somebody going through the situation that Ab is going in right now. You know what I mean? Because right now, is all, all we can do is wait. All we can do is wait for the big homie to come home. But I hit Ab and I said, hey, brother, top of the morning. I asked him right away. I said, did your sentence get pushed back? Um, people are commenting on that. And also, and also, I'm getting ready to drop a couple more exclusive interviews to help you in promotion. So I was waiting on the response from Ab because I've been getting so many comments here on Instagram and, and on YouTube with people talking about Ab sentencing. So... You know, I just wanted to get an idea. Here we are, June 12th. We are on June 12th. Ab still hasn't been sentenced. But, you know, that's that's something you can't look at so negatively because every day that Ab serves right now, it will be towards, you know, it will be towards his final incarceration time. So let me, uh, let me read this letter once more over. Ab confirmed, yes, my sentencing date got pushed back until August 18th, which some people did comment and say. Can definitely appreciate everybody staying in tune with AR Rab's situation. You know what I mean? As you see me here doing it every single day. But you have to understand that the judge is going to hit me hard. Ab is saying here that the judge is going to make an example out of him. They said the judge, but you have to understand, he's telling me, he's like, Mikey, you know, but he's also telling you too. You have to understand that the judge is going to hit me hard. But that's good. That's because it will violate my constitutional right. So that'll make that'll make better for my appeal. That'll make it better for my appeal. That's right. That's what Ab's saying. So everybody out there, you know, expect Ab to get a heavy sentence. Everybody out there is already saying, oh, they're going to give him this. They're going to give him that. Ab is saying you should expect that. But the further, the bigger sentence that they give him, it's going to be better for him because ultimately it's going to be violating his constitutional right. So that'll make my appeal be better, Ab says. The worst the judge can do for me, it'll make my appeal better. So, but honestly, I think the judge 
should be able to read through some of the lines. You know, all this time that he's having, as I said, it's June 12th. The sentencing pushed back to August 18th. I got a feeling that the judge can sift through all of this and possibly see the light in the situation. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what it's going to take to for the evidence to come to light that the the rat that they had on the stand wasn't the most credible of witnesses, but I think that's evident to anybody out there. I think it should be even be evident to the people trying to prosecute A.R. Rab. You know what I mean? Because uh, let's weigh the situation out. If A.R. Rab was out on the streets, if A.R. Rab was out in Philadelphia, aside from taking care of his family, what would he be doing? I'm sure he'd be releasing some protocol mixtapes. He probably would have released another Who's Harder Than Me mixtape, among other things. The Goon and the Crook. The goon and the bully with Beanie Siegel. Let's let's take a real look at what actually would have been happening if A.R. Rab was actually out in Philly right now. The man would have been making music. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what would the what would his counterpart have been out here doing? Smoking 20, 30 blunts a day? Is that what he'd been doing? Smoking 20, 30 blunts a day? Because I could tell you personally, Ab didn't smoke. 20, 30 blunts a day. He didn't waste his day like that. Ab took advantage of his day. Ab bought studio time. He had people in Philadelphia in the studio. Ab heard somebody spit. He put him in the studio. And I can't say that that's happening right now. That's not, that's definitely not happening right now. You don't have people out there looking out for others. You really don't right now, this day and age. And A.R. Ab was one of those people who would. The guy would book out a, a, a week at Batcave Studio. The guy built a studio in one of his own homes just so everybody around the blocks could, you know, could come and celebrate with Ab. Ab said it before in an interview. He said uh, in his area of Philly, the, the, the residents, all of, his, all of his people out there, all of his friends, really, fans, they didn't have somebody to look up to. They didn't have a... Uh, a, a sports figure to look up to so when ab has a show they all want to follow him and go to the show you know what i mean like uh you would see everybody following a basketball or a football player or a baseball player and they get them you know three dozen tickets that's like ab he's their star player i appreciate everybody for tuning in today i really do i appreciate you all for tuning in um before I get out of here, I'm just going to read my response back to A.R. Ab to show you that we are really in a positive light when it comes to Ab's situation. You know what I mean? Stay tuned for everything we got coming. I'm going to drop a couple dope things with Ab this week, but let's. here's my response to Ab. I said, no matter the sentence you get hit with Ab, I'm going to continue to push forward with everything we're doing. I have great faith that you win the appeal. I've seen it play out like that in many cases. Max B's case went from 75 years to just over a decade, 12 years. Bobby Schmurda held strong and got five and seven year sentences for his team. Even Amanda Knox, who was convicted in Italy of murder, a murder sentence, was overturned after four years. I have faith in the system that they will see the error in Taz's testimony, but I also have endurance to keep going. I'm not going to stop, you guys. I have no intention of stopping doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Everybody out there, have faith in me because, like I said, I got endurance. I can keep going. This is something I can do 365 days a year. I don't stop, guys. But uh, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Stay up to date with me so you can get all the updates from ARAB. That's right, all the updates from ARAB. As we said in this, AB sentencing date is going to be August 18th. So let's stay in tune for that. That's two months away. That's about two months and a week away. Let's stay prayed up for AR Rab. Um, my name is Mikey T underscore the movie star on Instagram. Anybody who follows me, anybody who follows me, I'm going to give you guys a follow back. Also, if you guys want to do some work, just hit me up. We can do anything you want. If you want to do a video premiere or if you want to do an interview yourself, we can lock in for that. Salute, guys. Mikey T the movie star.